Hi everybody, David here again with ScreenBeam One Take Tips. One of the things I wanna talk about again is the usage of your device. Now this could be done on an iPad, it could be done on a Chromebook device that's a two-in-one, it could be done on a Windows device, which is this, is, this device is here, but it's this action which you don't normally see teachers use a lot of. And if I have, many teachers have a two-in-one device, but they have never done that before, what I just showed you there. Why is that important in a screen beam environment? Well, because you've got the ability to untether yourself from the front of the room and get out from that screen and be around your students in what we call teaching in the power zone, um, this is super important to utilize your device if you have tools like a whiteboard. Now, every laptop has some sort of whiteboard in it. Even if you're using a web version of a whiteboard, you can pull that up on the web and have access to that. But in this case, I'm utilizing the Microsoft whiteboard that's built into the Windows device. But now I've got a walking digital whiteboard with me. I have something that I can, I can have that I'm utilizing. Now I wasn't a math student, but I can get that problem right. But you can see, I just am utilizing this as if I were in the front of the room writing on that board. Now, why is it more important to do it this way? Well, now if I'm stuck up here doing this, now I've lost half my class and I'm up here on this touch screen, which is not bad all the time. It's not bad one or two times during the class, but if you're always up here utilizing this board, you've lost half your class. So utilize your device, even if it's just a clamshell device, you can open up a whiteboard tool and you can start writing or you can, you're using your mouse, or if you have a stylus, super important to find out if you have that. But now you've got a walking digital whiteboard. And one other tip with this is I could hand this device or put it in front of a student and have them work on what they're doing and they didn't have to get up to disrupt the class to go to the front of the room and utilize that function. You've got it right here on your device. So use your two-in-one devices this is perfect for a screen beam environment. You set up this idea of an untethered teacher, you get yourself out of the front of the classroom, and you make your classroom much more flexible with this setup. So this is a great one to use. Hopefully we'll see you soon on the next one.